Welcome to AllAboutCoding.com. Today we'll make a customer information form that we will then email to ourselves. As you'll see here, I've already started the project. I've added a simple table, with two columns. I've got three text boxes, one label, and one button. Uh, first thing we need to make sure we do is we go through and name all of our different controls. That way we can access them by code. Uh, if you're not sure how to do that, you can click it here and go to our properties panel and change where it says ID. Uh, we're going to call our first one txt email, then txt name, and txt question. Uh, our label, we're going to go call it uh, LBL message, and we're going to set its text property to blank. We only want it to show something if we send a message out to the user. Next, our button here, we're going to name it CMD submit and change its text property to submit. Okay, now we're going to want to capture the click property of this button. So what we do is we come over here to our little events tab. And if you double click on this empty space here, it will automatically fill us in here and take you to the code page. Okay, the first thing we want to do is go ahead and validate our data. Uh, in this instance, just for simplicity, I chose to use nested if statements. Basically, we're just checking the length of the text in the text boxes uh, to make sure they're at least five characters long. If they fail, we just send them a little message to our label. If all three of our text boxes validate just fine, then we're going to try to send an email. Now, one thing you'll notice here is I put a try catch statement in here. What this is used for is in case you have any kind of error, instead of crashing your program, it's going to jump into the catch statement. So if at any problem we have trouble sending our email, we're just going to jump here and write a message out in the message box. Okay. Now before you're able to send any type of email in your .NET applications, you're going to need to add a reference to the uh, system.net.mil. Once you've done that, we can come down here. Uh, and this is pretty straightforward. We just create a, you know, our mail message object here, add a from, add a to, subject and body. Uh, we're actually even able to make this in HTML or plain text. Uh, set our priority. Then we need to make our server connection. Uh, we send it our credentials, which will be our from uh, email address and password. And I have that all sitting in here for you to fill in. Uh, and then upon success, we're just going to write in the label box here that your email was sent. Now what you would probably want to do here is actually send them to a, another page, a confirmation page, something like that. If we finished with just this, we could have the user click the button over and over and we get uh, a lot of emails. So anyways, uh, feel free to download the source code and if there's any questions, feel free to email.